Once upon a time, in a serene village perched at the edge of a whispering sea, there lived a little girl named Emily. Her eyes sparkled brighter than the constellations, and her laughter was as melodious as the night's lullabies. One tranquil night, when the moon donned its silvery cloak and the stars played peekaboo amidst the velvety sky, Emily couldn't close her eyes, for sleep had not come to carry her to dreams. Gazing out of her bedroom window, Emily's heart danced as she spotted a shooting star carving its way through eternity. Make a wish, sweet girl, the night seemed to whisper. And so she did. No sooner had she closed her eyes and whispered her heart's desire than a soft tap came at her window. Tap, tap, tap. Curious and with a fingernail of bravery, she tiptoed to the window and gently opened it. There, to her wonder, stood a chubby, adorable penguin with eyes as round and shiny as midnight pearls. I am Pippin, the penguin greeted, his voice as soft as the sea foam. I heard your wish upon the starlight, and I'm here to grant it. Emily's eyes grew wide with amazement. You can grant wishes, she asked. Only one wish for a magical night of adventure, Pippin replied with a twinkling smile. Taking Emily's hand, they stepped out into the crisp night air, and to Emily's astonishment, they began to float up, up towards the luminous moon. Draped in moonbeams, they soared high above her sleepy village, the ocean's rhythmic breath, a soothing symphony below. Their first stop was the whispering willow tree, where tiny fairies with lanterns of fireflies guided them through a maze of emerald leaves. They giggled and played hide and seek with Emily feeling lighter than a feather. Are you ready for the next enchantment? Pippin asked. Nodding eagerly, Emily held on to Pippin's flipper as they glided towards the cloud castles, a realm where dreams were crafted by gentle giants with hands as soft as clouds. They watched in awe as dreams were spun from golden threads of imagination, each one a precious story sent to sleeping children. Emily felt a warmth in her heart, a whisper of every good night kiss ever given. With a sigh of contentment, she thanked the gentle giants and waved goodbye. Now the moon was at its zenith, a glowing orb overseeing the world. Pippin took Emily to the third marvel, the Sea of Tranquility. Here, gentle waves of water sparkled with the reflections of the stars and calmness wrapped around her like a cozy blanket. Emily saw creatures of every color and shape singing in harmonious tunes that spoke of the ocean's endless tales. Side by side, they sat listening to the sea's lullaby, feeling peace settle in their bones. The final wonder awaited them, the Garden of Dreams. It was a place where every flower and tree whispered stories of courage, kindness, and love. Emily wandered through the garden, her fingers brushing against petals soft as wishes, 
her mind brimming with stories she could only have dreamed. As the first whisper of dawn tinted the sky pink, Pippin turned to her, a gentle gleam in his eye. It is time for your final wish to come true, Emily, he said softly. Close your eyes and dream of the most peaceful sleep. With that, Emily felt a gentle breeze as she was carried back to her room, tucked snugly in her bed with memories of the night's wonders. Sleep came easily then, wrapping Emily in a blanket woven from moonlight and the magical moments she shared with Pippin. And as she drifted to sleep, her lips curved into a smile, for she knew that the world was filled with beauty and magic, waiting for her whenever she wished to see it again. And so Emily's dreamy night with her penguin friend became a part of her forever, a soothing tale to visit in the comfort of her dreams. For there in the land of slumber, she could always find her way back to the places that filled her heart with joy. The end.